Number 74. How many molecules of C2H4Cl2 can be prepared from 15 C2H4 molecules and 8 Cl2 molecules? Okay, so basically they're trying to describe an equation here, right? We're preparing or producing C2H4Cl2 from these two, you know, compounds and molecules. So let's just write out the equation. We're going to start off with C2H4. We need to add into the mix Cl2, and together we can prepare C2H4Cl2. Okay. I'm just going to center this. Now we just make sure, you know, is it balanced? But yes, it is. And I totally forgot a, I totally forgot the four here. I don't know why. Like, Christina, what's going on? CH4, Cl2, there you go, or else the whole equation would be off. Okay. So now, write out what we are given. We have 15 molecules. Actually, let me do this in red. I have 15 molecules of this. Now, we can think of this as moles, okay? These are just like quantity numbers. So I can say that I technically have 15 moles of C2H4, and I have eight moles of Cl2. And we want to know how many moles or molecules can we make. So I'm looking at this, I'm just making sure that it's balanced, and it is, right? So whenever we're starting with two known amounts, you have to find out which one out of these is the limiting reactant. From there, you can find out the correct number of molecules or moles, or whichever, whatever they're asking in the question. So between these, we have to find out what's the limiting reactant. Now here's a trick, guys. Write this down. The limiting reactant, which I will put as just LR, the limiting reactant will produce the lowest amount of product. So the limiting reactant basically has a two Two different, two different definitions. So it's always the one that's going to be used up completely, and it's always going to be the one that produces the lowest amount of the product. So we can kind of find out how much we're going to make from both of these and see which one is the lower number. And that's going to be the theoretical yield. Now in this case, since I'm only going, starting from moles, I can kind of get rid of this gram down here, right? And we could only end at moles because they're not asking for a theoretical yield or anything. So we try to do the, the, the most minimal amount of work, right, to get the right answer. So in this case, you have to do both. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of these. And we just have to do this twice. What we're going to do is we're going to take the C2H4 and find out how many moles of C2H4Cl2 we're going to make. And then we'll do the same thing for the Cl2. So let's just quickly do it. If I take my 15 moles of the C2H4, and I just make that mole ratio, right? And you throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom. So that in this case, it's moles of the C2H4. And you want moles of the C2H4Cl2. Since all of the coefficients are 1, right, there's no numbers in front of any of these, right, it's all 1 to 1 to 1 to 1, these numbers are going to be 1 and 1. So when I cancel this out, it turns out that if I use up all my 15 moles of C2H4, I will be able to produce 15 moles of the C2H4Cl2. So if I just do the same thing again, and it's the same ratio, right? I might as well just write it down. This will take two seconds. But if I'm setting up for the same compound, right, the Cl2 with the eight moles, moles of Cl2 go on the bottom, and the moles of the product goes up on the top, right? And we go by the coefficients. It's a one to one, so one to one. If I do this math, I get only 8 moles. 
Do you see how we have two answers for the product? Which one is correct? The theoretical yield is always coming from the limiting reactant, and the limiting reactant will produce the lowest amount of the product. Since 8 is lower than 15, you can only make 8 moles or 8 molecules. So this is the answer. However, we had to do it twice because we had to see which one was lower. So this unfortunately does not exist, but it's, you know, we found it out just to compare the two answers. So now, you know, we can just turn it back into molecule land. They said how many molecules of this can be prepared? It would be eight molecules. So eight molecules, eight moles, whatever. It's all the same thing. And that is your final answer. All right? So I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, okay, guys? Thank you so much for, you know, watching the video. And I really hope this, this has helped you in your chem journey. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. And tell your classmates, all right? Tell your friends, you know, that this service exists. We have chem videos. We have physics and math at the moment. So go check it out, all right? Thank you so much, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.